the House Armed Services Committee, voted and passed its version, of the fiscal year 2023 National Defense Authorization Act, with an amendment that increased top-line figures, by $37 billion. President Biden, signed a bipartisan bill into law, to establish a rotation program, that will provide federal civilian employees, an opportunity to work at different agencies, to expand their professional experience. Guidehouse, has initiated a strategic joint venture, and mentor-protege agreement, with technology company TechSir Solutions. Six-time WASH 100 award winner, Scott McIntyre quoted. Michael Bloomberg, founder and CEO of media conglomerate Bloomberg, and former mayor of New York City, has been sworn in as chair, of the Defense Innovation Board. Not-for-profit information technology provider, MITRE, has announced that Kerry Buckley, and Eliyahu Nywood, have been promoted within the company to its executive team. CEO Jason Providak is quoted. NASA Administrator, Bill Nelson, has appointed new members, to the Space Agency's Advisory Council, ahead of its meeting in August, to review agency programs and top priorities. L3 Harris Technologies, has received the highly prestigious James S. Cogswell Award, for the 18th consecutive year, for its outstanding industrial security performance. Three-time WASH 100 Award winner, Christopher Kubasik quoted. DARPA, has run a series of tests, to assess the performance of the robotic systems, being developed under its Machine Common Sense program. Join GovkinWire's Events Military Services Intelligence. Plans and Priorities Forum on July 13, 2022. Visit govconwire.com slash events. The U.S. Navy is set to kick off competition for a potential five-year contract for software development efforts to support the service's forthcoming unmanned vehicle programs. The U.S. Air Force has chosen a design from Lift Airborne Technologies for the next phase of the fixed-wing aircrew helmet development program.